Tyler Wright taking on Isabella Nichols. And when you look at the rankings, they're right next to each other, number seven and eight in the world. She uses a, an Australian football to warm up, get her conditioning going, and I think her reflex is more importantly. Hand-eye coordination. And this was Tyler Wright's opener. Smaller wave, but I feel like she's kind of gone unnoticed and the grand scheme of things, we haven't really talked about her too much as far as rankings go and just qualification for the final five and she's done some great surfing on this wave nothing spectacular i love the risk that we're seeing from carissa and this was bella's first wave number eight in the rankings this is very impressive for the young surfer from australia who's been a world pro junior champion before actually in similar waves in portugal she beat Mahina maera at a point break that's like this but in colder water wow that was an amazing turn right in the pocket great down carve and then she just has a great pacing with this wave. Would be cloud break. Anyone want to go on a surf trip? And uh, what a cool way to test it out in perfect waves. And it worked out so incredibly well. It was soon introduced into a major CT event. Moving quickly through a couple of good frontside wraps. Isabella Nichols trying to compete with the two-time world champ. We know how aggressive Nichols is. She's so confident as a rookie on tour. Catching up to Tyler Wright, a two-time world champ. Big, powerful snap as that wave got incredibly steep. There's that stylish wrap that she loves to do. Sitting on the tail a bit more on that last turn, and she'll step up. Look how beautiful our playing field is. Let's keep it that way. This was during the break. Quick up for surfer in white. Isabella Nichols from Australia. She's been on a solid run so far. This is a big start here for Isabella. Chris Cote here with Calais Carranza. We just witnessed, but I have to say, the heat of the event so far. Carissa Moore and Silvana Lima posting two incredibly high heat scores. It's been 16 years. Surfers, both men and women, have improved so much, have gone up and beyond the lip as we see a beautiful looking wave out the back, Chris. Late drop for Tyler Wright. Easily managed to get around that tricky section, but does not like the looks of that wave. She pulls out. Dramatic drop like that, but it's not going to be the score that uh, she wants. And out the back, I believe that was Sage Erickson. Isabella, Isabella Nichols. Surfers having a look at this one, going a little bit wider. Bit of backwash. It's going to be Isabella Nichols with priority. Finds a gem. Nice opening carve. Beautiful bottom turn straight up in the lip. Maybe pushing a little bit too hard. What happened there, Kelly? I think she did. She was looking at that section and pushed really hard as if it would have been the last section of the wave. Sometimes you have to pull back. So knows what it takes to win big events and push through a full season of surfing. Meanwhile, Tyler Wright, who is always a title threat, back in form, loved the looks of that extended carve back into the white water. But right now, these waves are appearing to be a little vexing for our four surfers in the lineup. And at any given moment, as you see there, our surfer in white, Isabella Nichols, having to spin around and roll the dice on this one. Nice late takeoff. Expertly done by Isabella Nichols. Cruises on the open face. Big vertical snap there. Now she's got a glistening golden wall to work with in front of her. Nice and patient, waiting for this wave to form up. She makes the decision to opt out. It doesn't matter how long you ride the wave. It's what you do on that wave. Yeah, and I think, you know, she has won. She won the QS. Uh, a couple years back and she's really comfortable competing she knows what she has to do and right now she's not thinking about anything else other than replacing the 5.6 she had to roll the dice she was fighting hard to stay in place with that current but as she got to that mid section of the way russia too much as we see tyler up and riding love that late foamy takeoff from tyler right you see she's just going to work here super powerful very consistent Rarely makes mistakes. That's why she's a two-time WSL world champion, 2017-2016, 14 CT wins. One of the most dominant female surfers to ever do it. 
huge turn of events for Isabella Nichols, who has just unofficially taken out Tyler Wright. What a wild heat in the water. And trust me when I say there will be more to come. You're watching the Corona Open Mexico presented by Quicksilver.